Okay, so here are a couple more examples of turning a percent into a fraction uh, and a decimal. So we're going to start off with 14%. As the previous slide said, you simply take that percent, and because percent means out of 100, that is your numerator, 100 is your denominator, and then you simplify. I know that both of these can be divided evenly by 2, so I'm going to start there. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 100 divided by 2 is 50. There are no values that will divide evenly into 7 and 50, so this fraction is already in its simplest form. So 14% of a fraction is 7 fiftieths. Now, if I want to change that percent into a decimal, again, if you remember from the previous slide, it says take the 14 and divide it by 100. And that's the same thing, and that's what that hint said, as moving the decimal two places to the left. So I can take my imaginary decimal, which, which goes right after the number, move it two places to the left, and that's the new spot for my decimal. So 14% is equivalent to 0 and 14 hundredths as a decimal. We're going to look at one more, a, a percent that's over 100%. Same principles apply. So it's the same rule. So I would take this. This would be my numerator if I wanted to change this to a fraction. 100 is my denominator. And once again, I can simplify. Now here I have a couple of choices. I can first make it a mixed number, which we learned about before, or I can go ahead and simplify it. It's kind of up to what I want to do. I think where I'm going to start is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this into a mixed number. So as a mixed number, this would be one whole because 100 will go into 100 for one time with four left over, over 100. Now, the one, the whole number, can be left alone, but I can simplify this four over 100. Both of these can be divided by two. Four divided by two is two. 100 divided by two is 50. But I'm not done yet because that two 50th can be simplified further. 2 50ths divided by 2 again, divided by 2 again. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 50 divided by 2 is 25, which leaves me an answer of 1 and 1 over 25 as my fraction. So sometimes you'll have to simplify more than once because the point is you got to get it to its simplest form. If I want to change that into a decimal, again, I take that imaginary decimal and I move it two places to the left, which is the same as dividing by 100. And so 104% as a decimal is one and four hundredths. So there's a couple of examples. Use these in the information from before to finish your assignment and your practice work for today. Good luck, guys.